Hello, my name is Stefan Levy, and I'm coming from uh, KillCrohn'sFoundation.com. And I want to uh, have an interview with Alyssa to explain more about Crohn's and have a different perspective about it. Um, so Alyssa, when were you initially diagnosed with Crohn's disease? I was initially diagnosed May 27th, 2007. Wow, okay, so that's been about six years. Yeah. Okay, so what were some of the initial symptoms that you were actually feeling? The initial symptoms that I was feeling um, were very sharp pains in my stomach area. Mm -hmm. They felt like someone was stabbing me repeatedly. Mm -hmm. So did you actually did you actually think it was something of this magnitude? Because I know when I caught it, for example, I just thought it was a simple stomach bug. I I didn't think anything of it. I was living in Antigua at the time, and it just hurt. I just was in a lot of pain, and we couldn't figure out what was wrong. The doctors tried and tried to figure it out, but mm -hmm. nobody really knew. So in Antigua, is it a is it a very popular disease or not really? No, not no. really. No. So they didn't did they did they diagnose you in Antigua or did they diagnose you when you moved to Toronto? They diagnosed me when I moved to Toronto here. When I moved okay. back here. Yes. And um what what type of testing needed to be done, I guess, to diagnose you with um Crohn's disease? I had a lot of CAT scans, MRIs ultrasounds and colonoscopies okay so yes. colon uh, colonoscopies are a very rough test um, what it is basically is they put uh, a camera up your anus unfortunately and they, and they look for any abnormalities like inf inflammation or anything of that um, I guess to, to learn about it in depth I guess you should probably just google it it, it, it would explain it better than I could um, how has Crohn's disease affected your social life Crohn's disease has affected my social life by not allowing me to hang out with my friends as normally as a young adult would. I am not able to go out with them as often. Mm -hmm. I, um, I often find myself in a lot of pain or I'm overly tired when they want to go out and they don't understand why, why I'm always flopping. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. I get yelled at a lot. You get yelled at a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, that, that happens a lot. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of cancellations yeah. and a lot of a lot of can yeah, a lot of cancellations and just unfortunately you're not you're not able to enjoy your life as much as you should yeah. with it unfortunately because it's pretty debilitating. So how is um how how's your dating life been with Crohn's? To ask me an interpersonal question, I guess. Dating <laughs> has been very difficult with Crohn's. They um I find that. The, my partners don't really understand mm. what it is to have Crohn's, which is fair. I understand that, but um, when they're like when you're sick and they they're not there, it's the make it or break it point in your uh, relationship. So that's the time to just kick them to the curb. Yeah, back <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've, had a, I've had a situation like that. Well, I had, I had a bit of a different situation, but it was similar, unfortunately. Um, I told I told the girl I had Crohn's. I guess initially she was she was very accepting of it, and then after I think I had a, a flare when I was with her, and then after she said she couldn't handle it. Yeah, they, <laughs> and that was it. Yeah, so I usually go sick. That is actually one thing yeah. that could definitely be affected while while you have have that disease or have this disease, unfortunately. Yeah. What are some of the foods that you've had to stop eating with Crohn's disease? The foods that I had to stop eating were corn. I can't eat corn, popcorn, corn. No nuts. I, nuts, I find it hard to digest. Um, I can't have the skin on any vegetables or fruit. I have to take all that off. And then cheese and dairy products. I have to limit my intake. Oh, yeah, to limit your intake. Yeah, so you're not totally intolerable to that? No. Okay. With Crohn's, actually, um, I guess sometimes with Crohn's sometimes you can't eat sometimes you need a thing called bowel rest to to help you um, to assist you in healing your bowels um, what's the longest that you've had you uh, not eaten before two months I was on a liquid diet of juice jello and chicken broth it was wow horrible <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah yeah, I was in the hospital for that stay though. That hot, wow. Yeah. So that made it even rougher. I know being in the hospital sometimes yeah. like you're in jail. <laughs> yeah, um, definitely. With that though, did you did you lose a lot of weight? Yes, I actually went down to 85 pounds. What, what were you initially actually? Uh, I was 125. Wow, so you lost 40, 40 pounds in that yeah. span. Yeah, wow. and I went down to 85 pounds. And then you're like, you have to go to the hospital. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs>
And did you, did you have any difficulties putting back that weight, I guess, after when you got better? Yes. Uh, well, in the hospital, they put me on prednisone, but mm -hmm. I just gained water weight. Mm -hmm. And after I got released from the hospital, uh, yeah, I definitely had a burger that day. But um, it was hard to put on weight afterwards. Mm -hmm. It took me a while. Um, yeah. Some of the some of the medications, I guess, with Crohn's disease are are quite um, quite scary because they have some quite uh, scary side effects. Like I know when I was on prednisone, for example, um, uh, I started actually just growing hair all over my face, like right, even uh, right here, like right here on my cheeks, and obviously it came with other uh, other long term other bad long term effects such as uh, uh, liver failure, kidney failure, potential cancers. Um, and a host of other side effects that were, lo were as long as a book. Um, has, have, you, have you experienced any side effects personally from any of the medications that you've taken? Yes, mm -hmm. I have. Uh, when I was on prednisone myself, I retained water, like my cheeks blew up, mm -hmm. my lips turned purple, it was awful. And um, I was on methotrexate, I developed rashes from that. Mm -hmm. And um, being on Remicade now, currently, I developed uh, insomnia. So, yeah. yeah, that's that's one thing that's happened. I can't <laughs> yeah. I can't sleep straight anymore, no. unfortunately. Yeah, I can't sleep. <laughs> so that's yeah, that's been a problem. Do you think do you think this disease is well like has has a good awareness and what do you think needs to be done to raise awareness about this disease? I do not believe this disease has a lot of awareness. My friends didn't really know about it until I developed it. To bring more awareness to it, there should be more commercials for it, more support groups, more talking about it, because it is a very common disease mm -hmm. for a lot of Canadians, yeah. They've actually said 40% of people in North America are affected by um, some version of irritable bowel disease or syndrome, so I was actually pretty shocked about that. but. Like you said, it's such a relatively unknown disease yeah. that people don't even know know of it. When I explain it to them, they're like Crohn's. What is Crohn's? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's one that's one thing that, that happens to me all the time. Since it's so unknown, has this has this affected your professional career as well, like professional and school? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I have to take a lot of time off from both work and school, and it's not known to my employer or my professors why I need to take off so much time. I don't want to tell them because I don't, I feel like it's such a burden to just tell them what I have, but I do have to take a lot of medical leave and I do get laid off so, most of the time because I take too much time off. So how many, how many times actually, uh, if you don't mind me asking, have been laid off? Uh, twice. Twice? Yeah. And I guess you just didn't want to personally share your information? No, yeah, okay. no. Yeah, I understand that. I think Crohn's disease for example, it's taught me a lot about life. Like it's it's helped me it's helped me um, learn more about uh, not learn more about or experience more family bonding. Um, it's definitely it's definitely taught me to um, to enjoy enjoy the moment, seize the moment when it when you have it, yes. when you're when you're healthy. <laughs> um, what has Crohn's disease taught you about life? It's taught me to be very, uh, more understanding. I'm very humble. Mm -hmm. um, since I've developed this disease, I'm very nonchalant. I do not stress about anything. It's just not healthy. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, just more patience. I learned to practice a lot of patience. A lot of patience. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, thank you, everyone, for viewing. And thank you, Alyssa, for doing this uh, interview. Uh, it was very important to give uh, the subscribers and anybody who's watching this video more, more knowledge about Crohn's disease. All right, so please remember to rate and subscribe and follow me on uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And uh, thank you guys for viewing once again, and have a nice day.